So the next tip is about securing your Azure resources. Um, and we think about that, we often think about environments, so production versus staging, for example. And in Azure Pipelines, um, if you're just getting started, you might think, oh, that's perfect. There's an environments feature here. Let me click on it and then click create environment. And then you open this up. And if you're a cloud native person like myself, it's not particularly useful. Um, I don't use virtual machines. Um, and when it comes to Kubernetes there, you can only scope it to a Kubernetes namespace. And if you were following best practices, you would actually have distinct clusters for production and non-production so that you can test cluster upgrades. Um, so namespace as well is not really that useful unless maybe you have multiple teams sharing a particular um, cluster in different namespaces. But overall, I find it to be meh. Um, what we can do is instead um, protect resources by protecting the credentials. Um, and what you'll see here is something called service connections. So what I tell customers is that when you're thinking of environments, just think service connections. With service connections, you can basically do anything and everything. Um, and actually, if I bring up my the non-demo one, but the, what I actually use um, for Microsoft demos, uh, if I come here to pipelines and, oh, I have to go here, no, settings, sorry. Um, if I come here and go to service connections that you'll see I have service connections to uh, GitHub, I have service connections to Docker Hub, um, the SNCC API, here's a, um, a private container registry, and of course I also have a service connection to um, Azure Resource Manager. And you'll see that this goes to the MSDN subscription, which is this one, now it's called Visual Studio Enterprise. Um, but the point is, in terms of understanding service connections, is that they're just credentials. Um, and if you wanted to distinguish between production and non-production, you create different credential sets that you use. So in Azure, this is a service principle, right? Um, but it's not Azure specific. Again, it's just all about credentials. So that's what a service connection is. Um, I'm going to show from here because I actually have service connections that I mostly use. Um, if I come here to public demos. So... The classic pipelines have a nice UI. So like before you do production, I want you to go through um, a few approvals and checks. And in Azure Pipelines, you can do those as well. And so here are the different uh, options. There's actually many. Uh, business hours is pretty common, right? You don't want to deploy to production in the middle of the night uh, per se when nobody um, is around to uh, yeah, respond to issues. Um, here you can have as well approvals by a particular person. And basically what this does is Azure DevOps will not release access to those credentials to deploy unless a per certain uh, designated person approves it, right? So this could be um, your product owner, it could be an admin, but this is how you would place a check on that by protecting that service connection. 